welcome home to Eden. So let's talk about this divide between um, the QAnon and the Democrats and the, let's talk about this portal that's opening into two worlds you can choose between. It's really happening that the world is dividing. There's, there's like actually a vibrational shift going where you, depending on how you hone your energy and what you are amplifying, uh, you're going to be in a different life. You're going to pop into a different dimension according to your vibration. You know, this idea of multi-dimensional uh, levels of the earth, of different worlds simu simultaneously happening. It, it, you know, scientists, quantum physics um, talks about it, and I believe it's very true that there are different simultaneous realities, different dimensions of the very same earth that you're on. But to understand that your heaven that you want to, the, the vibrational uh, alignment that you want to have with your heaven is not going to be, oh, us QAnon people, we all went to heaven, and those Democrats, they all went to that bad world where they're trying to control people and turn them into robots and all this stuff. You know, in my heaven, the, the heaven, the vibrational shift that I want to be in, there's a great leader named Biden. And he's actually working for the people. And the people actually got it together and used their votes. And they went out and they chose somebody who is was so loyal to us that he is now making an African-American woman the vice president and a Native American woman in charge of all of the Native American lands. This is happening in my vibrational shift. That's what I want. So you see what you, and you'd be, you'd be like, if you're a QAnon person, you're like, that's not what I want. I want all those, uh, I don't want women to have any rights over their bodies. I, I don't want them to be able to have abortions anymore because I'm, I am uh, religious. Your heaven according to you, <laughs> your vibrational shift according to you. But in my vibrational shift, there's room for everybody. There's room for all these perspectives getting along and learning from each other, and that's what's fascinating on this planet. But in my vibrational shift, there's not room for a bunch of lying. There is there is calling people on their lies, such, such as what's happening right now to um, Fox News that's under so many lawsuits for so many lies they, they told um, that they can't get away with it anymore. That's my heaven. In my heaven, people have to be accountable for their lies and learn from them and learn how to tell the truth and be more brave about their, um, you know, desires and, and, and inadequacies and, you know, the times that we fail and, and we follow some horrible QAnon thing down a long rabbit hole because the YouTube experience is one that just feeds you more of whatever you look at. And, but that's all, it's not just YouTube. It's also the universe. The universe amplifies what you focus on. So I want to encourage you, as the world divides into different dimensions of itself, what do you want to create? Like seriously, what, what is the world you want to be in? Add to that. Because the creating of the world that you want, it has all to do with you taking actions towards that in this real time of the life you have right here. Like actually voting, actually encouraging other people to vote if you want to believe in a democracy that isn't a sham, that doesn't, it's not about, you know, um, people trying to make fake votes. It's all about the voter suppression of the African-American and the Latino community. That's what's been going on in my world that I believe in. We've come to a place where we really treat black lives as mattering. We really treat as the, the Latino lives as extremely important and we make sure that everyone has a vote. That's my reality. What reality do you want? Because if you, if you put all your energy into a, a, a whole you know, um, story that's about aliens coming and robots taking over and, and nobody telling the truth and, and baby dump, baby Trumpy Dumpty is actually all the horrible things he's done. It's just a, a cover for how he's actually a saint. Do you want that world where somebody's allowed to be cruel and there's a saint behind the scenes saint? You know, no, in my world, what you see is what you get, and you get to believe in what from what people's actions are. And if you wonder about a, a, a politician, you just go look up their record and you see what they've done with their whole life. Not 
the stories about them on YouTube, which are spliced and diced and slowed down to make them look like they have Alzheimer's. No, their record. Who did they help? For how long? Did it work out? What are their talents and gifts? What do people say about them? And you get a picture of somebody by their actions. That's the world I want, where what our actions are mean something. And, and, and they go somewhere and they take us somewhere into a story that we're creating on behalf of others or ourselves. So be conscious, love. Be conscious about where you're putting your focus, where you're putting your energy, you know. And if, and if you're watching something that makes you feel scared, terrified, closed down, suspicious, um, like I was at, at this Bufo workshop and there was a QAnon woman who was my roommate. <laughs> And, you know, I loved her. She was an ecstatic being. She was like a goddess, a Buddha walking the earth. But, you know, when she finds out suddenly that I am supposedly Antifa because black lives matter to me and I go out and I, with signs and I, I make sure that I um, add my voice to that and I don't let it just happen on my watch that there is this jail slavery system where we're the African-American community is being used for jails for profits and, and their votes stolen. And the Native American community, they don't get to vote. Do you realize that? We steal their lands, trap them in these little spaces, and there's like a million or more Native American people in the United States aren't allowed to vote? This has got to change. On my watch, in the world I'm creating, uh, my vote counts and it actually uh, what I say to people counts and what they hear and, and our story like AOC you know her speaking out that the new green deal is a real deal that we're creating in my vibrational dimensional shift it really matters and, and it's potent our words and our actions because we are addressing climate change quickly so quickly that the, the, the polar Caps are, are stopping their melting. Suddenly the snows are shifting them back to where they were supposed to be. We're, we're actually um, in, you know, using thorium now, thorium for energy, thorium nuclear, clean nuclear power. We've found a way to do it. That's my story and I'm adding, amplifying it by making this video on it. So what's your story? Don't make your story about, you know, the, the this horrible dimension where, you, you know, you, there's implants in your wrist and you can't get a COVID um, test because they're going to put some dye in your brain and you won't be free. Look, I've had three, two COVID tests. I've had COVID. You know, my mom already had the vaccine. She's fine. She's a deep spiritual being, more in touch with her core than anybody I know. She didn't turn into a robot. <laughs> in your world, wouldn't you like it if there was a vaccine that worked that wasn't about reprogramming you as a robot? <laughs> it actually stopped this terrible illness so that you could go back to your life and all your friendships and your dancing and hanging out and traveling the world. Wouldn't you like that? Add to that story, love. Add to that story. Okay. Much love, darling. Much love.